that, that my, my, my next question to you is this, sis. If you knew the right thing was that we choose, supposed to choose our king from amongst our people, why would you have us try to vote? Why would you ask us that? You see, we, we don't... Vote. I do vote. Yeah, sis, you know who you're dealing with right now? You know the most high God sent us out here? But we the prophets of the most high, believe it or not. Right. We the prophets of the most high. Right. So what we out here to do is wake up the minds of our people. Right. So we I have to do what? Call. We got to let go of the old man, the old way of thinking, okay. right? Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. Read. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Guess what? Part of renewing our mind is letting go of the things of America. The people who oppressed us, yes. they, they, they be the ones who say, choose a leader. When we choose a leader, they always give us an option of their people. All right? They give us an option of their people to choose. So we picking another slave master. Somebody, hey, hey, we had George Bush. Things are still the same. We had Barack Obama in the black community. Things are still the same. We had Donald Trump in the black community. Things are still the same. When we had Barack, society got even wider. Okay, okay, but, even. but guess what? God it says, did. God it says you won't come out of this until you keep his commandments. Hey, Hosea 5 and 15. Let me prove it. Hey, this will not change for how good, many people you vote for. But it's getting later. You got a flyer? You got a flyer? You hey, got a flyer. You got a flyer? You somebody give you a flyer? On the piece of paper we have. Oh, you okay. One? Hey, let me show you. Let me show you how long we are gonna stay in this condition before you go. Because guess what? They're not reading this in church on Sunday. No, let me tell you straight. Not at all. Read what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter five, verse fifteen. Read. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Now guess what? I got one. The Most High said. Well, the Most High said he's gonna go and return to the to his place. Until we acknowledge our offense as a people. Read. And seek my face. How do we seek his face? Out of the Bible. What do we have to do? Yeah. Is repent and keep his laws. That's right. That's what we have to do. Is repent and keep his laws. That's the only way out. And there is no other way out. You understand? Ezekiel 18 and 30. There is no other way out. My sister, we can vote all we want to. We'll be I here for, we'll be I another know. 400 years. In subjugation. Fair it out! Because the people who put in this position are still in power. Let me ask you this. Who run the world? Um, we're going to get deep now. Who run this world? Who run it? Yeah. Job 924. I'm going to let God tell you who run it. Guess who run this world? The creator. True, true. But he put somebody in position of power on this earth. Who? Who? Who runs the, the United States government? Is it black people? Who's in Congress on the Senate? Is it black people? Who's the uh, the House of Representatives? Is it black people? No. We have black people, but they you, aren't we in know what they are. We know what they are. We know they're not. Come right. on, come on. Right. We, we, we ain't gonna do that. 924, watch this. The Book of Two! Chapter 9, verse 24. I'm going to show you who run the world. Read. The oath is given unto the hand of the wicked. Oh, read it again. The oath is given unto the hand of the wicked. So when we say we're going to go vote, God said the wicked run of this thing. So are we going to pledge of allegiance to the same people who God calls the wicked? Jeez. You understand? God calls these people the wicked. I'm going to give you another clue. I'm going to give you another clue with help. Malachi 1 and 4. Don't leave that. Hey, we're going to all leave together to make sure you get home safe. Oh, no, I have to go. Oh, hey, Malachi 1 and 4. Check it out, check it out. Hurry the up. book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. This is another clue, sis. You, you, you still may not know who the wicked is. Read. Was Edom said? Was who? Edom said. Uh oh, God just said there's a people called Edom. Edom means red. Red people, right? Because there's no such thing as a white man. They ain't got no man look like this. The color like that. Piece of paper. Right. So God calls them red. Red meaning Edom. His nation is called <laughs> the Edomites. That's an Edom. Just walk past you right there. I should have been here for at least two hours ago. 
Hey, 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 What's it I'm saying? Hey, what, what, what about I tell you? Read. We are in poverty. Come on. But we will return and build the desolate places. Because the white man used to run, the, the, he, used to, the, he was in charge of the, the Greek captivity and the Roman. But we took them down, right? God took them down. And he came back into power during the Renaissance era in the 1400s, okay? And in that time, when he came back into power, this is what it's going into, the white man coming back into power, all right? Read. Thus said the Lord of hosts. Read. They shall build, but I will throw down. That's how you know God a black man. Because he said, they're going to build all this up, but I'm going to throw it down. Read. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Wait, look, look what God called them. Look what God called them. What did he call the white man? And they shall call them the border of wickedness. God calls them the border of wickedness. We not voting for the wicked. We're supposed to stand for our people. That's right. Guess what, sister? Hey, it's time to repent. Because we can't vote for the wicked no more. We have to stand for our people. We have to love our people. And how do we do that? We come out here every night. Telling you that you blacks and Hispanics or the Israelites. That's, right. That's who you are. Sis, you're one of the people on this sign. Right. You have your chance at salvation. Jesus Christ is a black man who looks like you, who have woolly hair like you. Right out. God is a black man who looks like you, who have woolly hair on his head like you. In order for you to repent, you have to come back to the knowledge of knowing that you're not an African American that you have to come out of the ways of America and repent and be called an Israelite. You probably come from the tribe of Judah. You look like Judah to me. I could be wrong, Romans 8, 16, okay? I could be wrong. I could be wrong, Romans 8, 16. But you look like Judah to me. <laughs> Sis, keep the, I don't want to hold you up no further. Keep the commandments, right? No more voting. No more telling our people to vote. You, you, you hear me? All praise. I'm glad you received that, my sister. And guess what? No more are we African Americans, yeah? No more. We Israelites. Right. We coming back to our true name, our God-given name. Because guess what? Jesus Christ is only coming back for the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Did you know that? Matthew 15, 24. Because she, she I saw the look on her face. She kind of looked like, what you talking about? <laughs> Matthew, hey, Matthew 15, 24. Look, listen, look what Jesus said. Hey, this is called sister. This is called the good news. This is the good news that he only died for you. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Look what Jesus said. Come on. When he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This time I want you to read it slow. Read it again. But he answered and said. Jesus answered. Read. I am not sent. He said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel he only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel no, nay, not a nation more sister he not coming back for the white man and the Chinese man sister Fight. he not coming back for the Arab sister he not coming back for the Hamites Ran out. he only coming back for our people our people were in the midst of sin that repent the Israelites Hey, you ever heard that before? You ever heard that before, though? Hey, let me ask you this. Oh, Revelation 21 and 12. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, they ever, they ever showed you? They ever showed you how many gates to the how many gates to the kingdom have before you leave? How many gates? Twelve gates? Wait, so you know that? Read this. Read this. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. This is the kingdom of heaven. That's gonna be here on earth. Read. And had a wall. Great and high. Read. It had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Now, Christianity, they said it got one big pearly gate. Right? It, had, it had 12 gates. But he said it got 12 gates. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. Read. And the names written thereon. And they got names written on these gates. What is it? What are the names? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Yes. My sister. Guess what? It's time to repent. You didn't prophesize for nothing. All right. Uh, Proverbs, uh, so you know what I'm on? Man's going to the Lord. Proverbs 20. 20 and 24. 
You didn't bother to tell us for nothing. Hey, the sister got something that you dwell on. Hey, this is, what I, this is what I need you to do. Don't take my word for it. Go at home, read the Bible for yourself. Ask your pastor those questions. And why you never told me this before? All right? You know why? Because they didn't want you to know that you need to stop committing sin. All right? Wait, watch yourself, sis. That you need to stop committing sin because guess what? They need your money. They want them dollars. They want that 10%. And if you know you was the Israelite, you would know you were supposed to be giving them no 10%. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, don't just say, hey, let me ask you this. Cause you, then don't they say the Old Testament is not a way with you? They don't say that at your church? Oh, okay, good. But guess what? This is some bridges. All right? Hey, call the number on that flyer. Call it. We here for you. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 24. Read. Man's goings are of the Lord. That's just letting Bubba tell us by accident. She going to have questions on her mind, and her pastor going to have to answer them. He going to have to answer them. And we gave her a couple of precepts. He can't get along. Read. How can a man then understand his own way? She don't know why she jumped up to us. She thought she was going to get us the vote. But guess what? Ain't no vote out there because God says we, he chooses the king that leads our people. Our king is Christ. That's right. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. The black Messiah. That's, That's right. right. All right. We know who our king is. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom.